Welcome to our lecture online and here's the sixth example of how to do max min problems using calculus. And here's kind of a practical one because the postal regulations require that the length plus the girth of a rectangular package doesn't exceed 108 inches. What dimensions are required to have the largest volume? So to make the package as large as it can in volume. So let's draw this. So we have a rectangular base and then a length like this. So this is the length, this is the, uh, let's say, width and the height. Let's, let, let's use the variable x to represent the width and the height since they're even in size, or the same in size, I should say. And um, so you want the package to be such that the volume is a maximum. So let's start with step one. Volume is what's being maximized here. And of course, then you need an equation for the volume, and the equation for the volume is that the area of the base, which is x squared, times the height, or the length, in this case, length, height, same thing, but let me use, uh, stay consistent here. So x squared times L would be the volume of this package. And we're trying to maximize that volume. But since we have two variables in our equation, we should come up with some sort of constrained relationship to get rid of one of the two variables. So we know that the girth plus the length cannot exceed 108 inches, so to find the maximum size, we're going to take the girth, which is the circumference, so to speak, of the package. So 4 times x, that's the girth of the package, plus the length can be no more than 108 inches. All right, so from that, you can see that we can solve for L and plug that into our equation here. So step 3, use the constraint, L equals 108 minus 4x, and plug it into your equation to get rid of one of the variables. And so we end up with volume is equal to x squared times 108 minus 4x. And then if we simplify this a little bit, the volume is equal to 108 x squared minus 4x cubed. Now we're ready to take the derivative. We only have one variable, the variable is x. So step four, take the derivative of v with respect to x. So v is equal to 216x minus 12x squared. And now we're ready to do step five, which is set that equation equal to zero, set the derivative equal to zero. So step five, v prime, or set v prime. I like to use the word set because it is an equal. We're going to set it equal for a specific purpose. So we set v prime equal to zero, so we can find the max or the min of that, ver of that variable. So zero is equal to 216x minus 12x squared. And now we have to solve that for x. So step six, solve for x. Well, let's see here. Uh, we can divide both sides by two. So we have zero is equal to 108x minus 6x squared. So divide both sides by two again. We get zero is equal to 54x minus 3x squared. And it looks like that's divisible by three. So zero is equal to and that would be 18x minus x squared. Now, we, <coughs> excuse me, we factor out an x. So we have 0 is equal to x times 18 minus x, which means that either x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 18. Now, obviously, a package cannot be very big if the girth is 0 by 0. So that's not one of our possible answers. Matter of fact, that will give us the minimum volume, a volume of zero. But if you let x equals 18, then we have the maximum volume package. So that means x must be equal to 18 inches. And then from our relationship, that L is equal to 108 minus 4x, which means 108 minus 4 times 18. And 4 times 18 is 72. That's 108 minus 72, which means uh, 36 inches is what the length then can be. So if you make the sides 18 by 18 and the length 36 inches, you have the largest volume package you can ship to the U.S. Postal Service. And that's how you do that problem.